There's not even any point of me trying to be in the shot, so just film the nice Italian lady, yeah? That's, I'll just stand back here. Now, Honda has had a history with uh, mopeds and scooters for a very long time. The C90, their Honda Cup, that was the first bike I ever got to ride and I did that all throughout high school. And behind me is another one of Honda's, I think, quite important bikes in, uh, in quite a long time. The EM1E. This is an electric scooter, it's actually an electric moped. There aren't really a lot of details uh, of it as of yet. It's only launching next year in summer, but it's an important bike for Honda because they have promised that by 2025 they will be bringing out 10 different electric models and this is the first one of them. Now I think the most important feature of it is uh, take a look at this little pack over here. Honda calls it a Honda Mobile Power Pack which means that yes this bike has got a really uh, difficult name to say EM1E Let's just call it Honda's first electric uh, scooter. It will have a mobile power pack, which means that you can actually take its battery out like any old Duracell that you would, take it in the house, charge it there, or uh, maybe have you know a couple of them lying around, keep them all charged. Which has been developed entirely in-house and has been used successfully in Japan and other countries in Asia. As the name suggests, the mobile power pack is easily removed from the EM1E ready for charging in the comfort of home. What else is special about this new way to power a Honda two-wheeler? The only spec that we do know about this bike is that it's got a 40 kilometer range. It doesn't sound a lot, but this bike is, is a moped and it's meant for... <coughs> Somebody's filming the cameraman. It's got a 40 kilometer range. It's meant for city riding. Honda says kids can take it to, to school. 40 kilometers around the city should be fine, especially if it's got a removable power pack. Don't look at the nice Italian lady's ass. Don't look at the nice Italian lady's ass. Now, I would have expected for Honda's first um, electric motorcycle to be quite a big milestone for them. I would have expected quite a futuristic design, which this little scooter doesn't really have such a futuristic design in my point of view. We take a look at the front you basic i think the most futuristic looking thing is the is the front headlight apart from that it just looks a little i don't know bland to me if honda prices this right it could be quite a winner for them and uh, i think a lot of people are looking for different ways to get uh, from point a to point b in a city environment but uh, i think it'll be a success only if they price it right the rear wheel is solid and i think that's where part of the motor could be in. That's the same as on BMW C04, except uh, in that one, I don't think there were any electronics. A very simple LCD instrument cluster. I'm not sure what the storage capacity of this is. Uh, we've seen them take the battery out on stage and it uh, sits right under the, uh, the seat. So I don't know where you're gonna be putting your helmet, but we'll have to wait and see. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you think you've learned something new, consider subscribing or becoming one of our patrons to help us make more of these shows. Cheers, and I'll see you on the next one.